Hey, it's Shannon Long, and today I am in downtown Indianapolis taking you behind the scenes of Sun King Brewery. One of my favorite beers. Uh, there's a lot of uh, great local breweries around here, but uh, these guys are the, the top of the top. They're the best. And it's a great beer. They have lots of varieties. They always have the small batch, and I love their sours. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> We've been here three times this week. <laughs> There are three mainstays is Wemek, Osiris, and uh, Cream Ale. Uh, all of them have had many, many times. People come in here all the time, they love it. Sun King Brewing Company was founded by veteran brewers Dave Colt and Clay Robinson. The genesis of Sun King goes back to a little over a decade ago and a conversation that Dave and I had, which would be, what would you do if you could start your own brewery? But actually, the beginning of our friendship goes back over 20 years. We never spoke about what kind of beer we wanted to make. We talked about what kind of culture we wanted to create. While there were several brew pubs in Indianapolis at the time, Sun King became the first production brewery in the city since 1948. Yeah, we were looking around at other states and we are saying, you know, there, there are uh, major uh, cities and, and states that have an identity with local beer. And Indiana, you know, not so much, especially Indianapolis. So we were like, this is a very underserved market. You know, fresh local beer became our motto from the very beginning. With a dream and $500,000, we turned that into this place. Dave and Clay knew what kind of beer they wanted to make, but finding the right name for their brewery wasn't as easy. We really want to make seasonal beers and really bring that to bear. So what's important to us, and that would be our proximity to the sun. The sun is king of our solar system. So I went, oh, sun king, I love it. And he said, it's a great name for a brewery if you're in Southern California, Phoenix, Arizona, or Denver, Colorado, somewhere where the sun shines all the time, Dave. It was like a gray late, late winter, spring morning, but the sun was peeking through, and he said, what, what's that? And I said, what? I said, what's this big ass fiery ball in the sky? And he said, it's the sun, Dave, you smart ass. And I said, yes, uh, the sun shines on us lowly Hoosiers like it does the great people of California. Sun King went on to surpass their five-year goal of selling 5,000 barrels in only the first year. Now eight years in, they're set to pump out over 40,000 barrels of delicious beer. Thanks to this success, Dave and Clay were able to start giving back to their community. Indiana has this crazy loophole where the only way we can discount beer to anyone is if it's a registered 501c3, a nonprofit. So we started offering a third off of our beer to nonprofit organizations and helping them plan events where beer was the showcase. We use the power of beer to bring people out. We use our access to great liquid to help you figure out how to monetize that and make money so that that money then can further your mission and we can help you tell your story and all of these organizations can help make our community a better place to live work and play. I think we're doing 700 different events this, uh, this, this year. year. So yeah, over, over 700 events a year. So basically, there's if you take it out to every day, there's two events a day. Some days have none, some days have a dozen. We use our tasting room for a place to bring partners in. So we really, it's I think it's one of the things that we're most proud of. Okay, enough talking about Sun King beers. It's time to taste a few. What are we gonna do first? Uh, I think we'll start with the Sunlight Cream Ale. Woo, let's do it. Oh yeah. Tasty, right? This is a great beer. You don't see a lot of breweries with a flagship cream, cream in. No, and I think what, for us, when we started eight years ago, there weren't really any production breweries in Indianapolis, you know, and this city really was kind of a bush light and Coors Light kind of city. So we needed something to appeal to the non-craft beer drinkers. And unfortunately, there's that stigma out there that people think all craft beer is bitter and hoppy and strong and whatever. So Cream is kind of our way to show, hey, this is a gateway beer. This is how you get non-craft beer drinkers into craft beer. And I've met a lot of people that said the first craft beer they really enjoyed was Sunlight Cream Ale. And from there, they kind of expand the horizons. So now we're gonna get a little Scottish. Yes, this is our Scottish style brown ale, Wemek. Flavors of toffee, caramel, this malty sweetness. We joke that Cream Ale is kind of the gateway beer for non-craft beer drinkers. We feel Wemek is the perfect gateway beer for non-dark beer drinkers. People have that stigma that dark beer is also very thick and rich, and we mix a very light beer. It's just over 5% ABV. I always tell people, don't be a beer racist. Don't judge a beer by its color. Just because it's dark like we mix does not mean it's gonna knock you on your butt and take you out for the day. This, is a, this beer would taste so, so good with almost any kind of meat, any kind of meal. I feel like it's a great pairing beer. Absolutely um, it is, yeah. With the, with the toffee flavors in there. 
what do we have here? So this is Osiris, this is our house pale ale. It is a traditional West Coast pale ale, nugget cascade hops. This is my go-to beer, my year-round drinker. I have five gallons of this on tap at my house at all times. Uh, I love this beer. It is sessionable, it's drinkable, it's just a solid pale ale. You don't see a lot of pale ales nowadays. Everyone's into the IPAs, double IPAs, and to just sit down and drink a beer, this is what I want. The hot presence is not overwhelming. Nope. It's nope. there, but it's enough to make you happy. It's a great beer to sit down with at the end of the day. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Hola, senor. Hola, senorita. <laughs> Here we have Pachanga. This is our Mexican lager. Okay, so like, what exactly is a Mexican <laughs> lager? Because for me, well, this isn't what I expected. <laughs> to be <stupid. laughs> When I think of Mexican lager, yeah. I think Corona, and I think um, a light struck beer with like some skunkiness in it, uh, but that's yet. not it. This is this is good. <laughs> well, thank you. Yes, uh, we used a traditional Mexican lager strain of yeast, so it gives a nice crisp lager character. But it's actually harvested from Mexico City, and then we use all Bravo hops, which is hop variety that kind of imparts a nice lime character to a beer. This is a great ga gateway beer. Four point two percent is the perfect perfect oh, yeah. summer hot weather beer. The literal uh, translation is a gathering of family and friends uh, featuring food and beverage and music. Um, so it's basically just a get together. It's a party. We have this thing at Sun King that's called a Marty, and it's a little bit meeting slash a party. So we made the pinata, and we decided we would call him Marty. Since boxes usually get thrown away, they are recyclable, but people just discard them. If you happen to be smart enough or curious enough to look at the bottom of the box, you're gonna realize that there's an art project on the box. And so so now people can build their own pinatas. We, we had pinatas at our launch party and it actually is amazing how excited people get about pinatas. It, it really blows their minds. Tell me about the shifty machine. I've oh, never boy. seen this before, it is way cool. <laughs> so we got an old uh, soda machine and basically after work, everyone's allowed to shift beer. And instead of the canning line, whenever it has a short fill or a scratch dented can, we usually toss them out because we can't sell those. And we figured a shifty machine would be a good way to give our employees that beer. And putting in an old soda machine, it's awesome. Hit it, go up there, hit a button, beer comes out, drink the beer, you're happy. Well, thanks for taking me through all your beer. Anytime. Nice meeting you guys. Cheers. I've heard a rumor that I can drink your beer on the streets of Indianapolis. It is true. So we uh, we had the Super Bowl a few years back, and when they did, there was a lot of confusion about what the laws were, and there was a clarification came out, and it basically says that Indianapolis has no open container law, so you can drink beer on the streets, and as long as you're not inebriated, then you are completely fine. And this is basically the Las Vegas of the Midwest. It is right the now. Las Vegas of the Midwest. That's what we hang our hat on. What happens? in uh, Indianapolis at Sun King. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dave, Clay, thanks so much for having me out to Sun King today. Let's end it with some beers riding around sunny Indianapolis. Cheers! Cheers.